What role did the cochineal, which produces the attractive red color, play in globalization? The rare red color that symbolizes passion and vitality. Until cochineal was discovered, it was difficult to obtain. Cochineal is a type of mealybug that is more like a mosquito like male. It is said that only females covered with a hard shell produce a red color. As a herbivore that eats capgai, cochineal or carminic acid made from female cochineal, roses, sparkling crimsons, deep burgundies, produces an amazing range of red tones. In Korea, the bride's yunshganji is red, it's called a yunji worm. Cultivation of cochineal dates back to the Aztec and Inca civilizations. Someone accidentally rubbed the insect with his hand. And the red color came out, and it started to be used. It takes 70,000 female cochineal worms to produce one pound of dye. In Central and South America, the main food of cochineal beetles is cacti grow and produce the most colors. Cochineal was raised and harvested until the spawning season. The harvested cochineal is dried and ground to extract the color. The red color is not cochineal blood with carmine that absorbs the nutrients of the cactus. Used in a variety of products. The cochineal attached to a real cactus. It is a very small bug that looks like a white powder clumped together. Moisture loss due to strong and hot sunlight. It is a survival strategy to prevent it. Spain conquered Mexico. Cochineal dominates the European dye market. A color that only those with wealth and honor could enjoy. Red was a coveted and valuable color. For emperors, conquerors, and nobles. The red color of cochineal, coveted by the world, became a valuable export item. Like a precious metal thanks to Columbus's expedition. Strawberry milk that gives a red color today. Drinks. Processed foods such as sausage, ham, snacks, crab meat, etc. It is used as a dye in ice, cream, and lipstick. Emulsifiers are used to vary the redness. It is extracted by adding a stabilizer during the drying process so that the red color does not change. These additives are said to cause allergies, enteritis, and anaphylactic shock. Eating each additive individually can be fine. But if you often eat foods with numerous additives, no one knows what kind of reaction it will cause. It's just assumed to be safe because it doesn't cause immediate death. Subscribe and like are a great help in making the next video.